ArcelorMittal Belgium is part of the ArcelorMittal Group, the world's leading steel and mining company. Our Belgian cluster, with production facilities in Ghent, Liège, Gill and Genk, has all the required facilities at its disposal to convert raw materials in a sustainable way into steel products with high added value. Cars, design buildings, wind turbines, solar panels. Wherever you look, you'll find steel from ArcelorMittal Belgium. Every year, we ship more than 6 million tons of flat steel and we are constantly improving our existing steel products and developing new ones. We strive to become the sustainable steel plant of the future, with an emphasis on energy and environment, HR and digitalization, and innovation and customer focus. We have the ambition to pioneer with steel that is produced in a green, sustainable way. Within ArcelorMittal Belgium, we are particularly well placed to realize this ambition, as our site is fully integrated with optimal materials flow and logistics. In addition to our highly efficient production process, we are working hard to make our infrastructure more sustainable. We have, for example, installed the largest solar roof in Belgium. Its 100,000 square meters of solar panels, together with our wind turbines, provide approximately 50 megawatts of renewable power. The renewable energy thus generated is used entirely to power our site. We perform the steel production process from A to Z, from coal and ore to finished steel products. Through the ghent ternosen Canal and the Western Skeld River, we have direct access to the North Sea. This maritime location makes us accessible for large seagoing vessels for the supply of raw materials and the shipment of finished products. The production of steel starts with iron ore and coal. Upon arrival at our site, the raw materials are carefully stored and transferred to the fines bedding by conveyor belts. As coal is not suited for direct use in the blast furnace, it must first be converted into coke in the coking plant. Iron ore can only be used in the blast furnace after it has been converted into sinter. Sinter is produced by spreading out a mixture of fine ores, fluxes and foriferous recycled products on a slowly moving chain and baking it, using coke breeze and anthracite as fuels. A porous substance that is the ideal raw material for the blast furnace is thus created. We now insert the sinter and coke from the top of the blast furnace. At the bottom of the blast furnace, hot air is injected. This hot air sets off a chemical process that converts the coke and pulverized coal into a reduction gas, which removes the oxygen from the iron ore in the sinter. At the same time, heat is generated necessary for melting of the metal. At the bottom of the blast furnace, the liquid and carbon-rich hot metal is tapped into torpedo ladles. The slag produced in the blast furnace is granulated into blast furnace sand as a byproduct and transported to the cement industry for the production of metallurgical cement. Blast furnace gas is partly converted into electricity in the nearby power station of NG Electrobel. The blast furnace gas generated during the process contains carbon monoxide and CO2, which we can convert into valuable products after separation in the carbon to value pilot installation. With our new groundbreaking steel and all installation, we will convert carbon monoxide into bioethanol, an alternative for fossil fuels, or into a raw material for plastics. Steel is 100% recyclable, without any loss of quality. About 20% of the raw materials needed to produce new steel are replaced by recycled scrap. On a yearly basis, we melt approximately 1 million tons of steel scrap in the steel shop's converter. Thanks to our efficient use of scrap, our CO2 footprint is one of the smallest in the world. The liquid hot metal produced in the blast furnace is now ready to be converted into liquid steel in the steel shop. First, we load scrap into the converter. Next, the liquid hot metal is added to the tilted converter. With pure oxygen, 
we burn off the carbon and impurities that are present in the hot metal bar. From this moment onwards, we talk about steel. A ladle containing liquid steel is brought to the ladle turret at the continuous casting line. The turret turns 180 degrees to bring the ladle into casting position. The steel flows into a tun dish and then into two water-cooled moulds. After leaving the mould, partially liquid steel strand is supported by a series of rolls, grouped into segments through which it is guided. Large quantities of cooling water are sprayed upon the steel strand between the rolls in order to solidify the steel into a slab. Once solidified, the steel slabs leaving the casting machine are cut to length and width. Each slab is individually marked and transported to the slab yard before further processing. For this, we use slab carriers, which will eventually operate in a fully automated manner. Next, the steel slabs are transported to the hot strip mill, where they are reduced in thickness and rolled into thin strips. First, the slabs are heated in our energy-efficient furnaces to a temperature of about 1200 degrees. In two roughers and one finishing mill, the thickness of the slab is reduced from 22 cm to between 1.25 and 13 mm. The finishing mill consists of very powerful rolling stands in order to process the harder 40 form ultra high strength steels. Car parts made with this sustainable and innovative steel are 10 to 20% lighter and therefore more fuel efficient and better for the environment. The steel slab has now become a steel strip. The thickness, width, profile, flatness and temperature of the strip are measured as soon as it leaves the finishing mill. In the following stage, the strip is cooled by a low pressure water flow. The length of the steel strip has increased from 10 meters to several hundreds of meters by the time it reaches one of the three coilers at the required temperature. Each coil is now automatically strapped, weighed and marked by means of a robot. Most coils now proceed to the cold rolling mill. First, the layer of scale that was formed during hot rolling needs to be removed. To do this, the strip is treated with a hot hydrochloric solution. This process is called pickling. In the tandem mills, the thickness of the strip is reduced by up to 80%. The final thickness ranges from 0.2 to 3.85 mm. Cold rolling renders the steel strip hard and therefore unsuitable for further processing. In order to ensure the deformability of the steel strip, it must be subjected to a thermal treatment in the annealing line. In order to protect the steel against corrosion, we apply a thin layer of zinc. This can be done in our hot dip galvanizing lines, where the steel strip is drawn through a zinc bath. On the inspection lines, an additional inspection of the surface quality is performed. In our jet vapour deposition line, we coat moving steel strip in a vacuum chamber by vaporising zinc onto the steel at high speed. This new line makes use of a breakthrough technology to coat our 40 form ultra high strength steels. These steel grades enable our automotive customers to reduce the CO2 emissions of cars. Electrolytic galvanizing lines, the zinc layer is applied via an electrolytic deposition process. The galvanized products are manufactured for construction, white goods, packaging and the automotive industry. The steel can also be transported to our organic coating lines for further processing. On the organic coating line, we apply a layer of paint to the steel strip. Painted steel strips are used, for instance, in cars and in domestic appliances. After packaging, about one-third of our products is sent to our customers by ship. One-third is dispatched by train and one-third leaves our company by truck. We want to grow into the preferred supplier of our customers in terms of service, quality and sustainability. Thanks to the new all-weather terminal in the North Sea port, we will be able to load high-grade steels 24-7, independent of weather conditions. The all-weather terminal is also an investment in sustainability. 
as the increased shipping capacity per vessel saves up to 25,000 truckloads per year. For the automotive industry in particular, we also have a production line for tailor welded blanks. Tailor welded blanks consist of shaped sheets welded together and they enable car manufacturers to create car components in a single production step. Car bodyworks that are composed of tailor welded blanks are 25% lighter than traditional ones, yet they ensure the same safety performance and driving comfort. At ArcelorMittal Belgium, more than 5,000 highly skilled employees work hard to produce the sustainable steel of tomorrow. Sustainability, digitalization, innovation and customer focus are at the heart of our company.